Hi guys, I'm Lily Keys, celebrity makeup artist, and welcome back to Wedding Bells on Video Jug. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful, dramatic, Great Gatsby inspired bridal makeup look. Okay, so I've prepared the skin for makeup and I'm going to start with foundation. Today I'm going to be using MAC Face and Body in C1. I've actually decanted my makeup from the original bottle into these plastic bottles so it doesn't look like this in the store. I'm going to be using my foundation brush from MAC. I'm going to be starting on the foundation in the middle of the face and blending outwards. So on with the concealer next and I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage. This is in shade 1 Creamy Ivory. You don't need to use a lot of this product at all, a little goes a long way. I'm using my Touch Up Brush from MAC. This product is slightly too heavy to use under the eyes so I'm only using this for any blemishes or redness on the face. I'm now going to be doing the under eye concealer. I'm using this Bobbi Brown Eye Brightener in Light Bisque. Using my touch up brush from MAC again. Just going to be using this under the eyes, any under eye circles you may have, or any darkness, it's really good to cover up. So onto the brows next. For this Great Gatsby look, we do have quite a prominent arched brow, so I'm really going to fill in Charlotte's brows today. I'm going to be using this NARS Brow Pencil in Panama, which is quite a similar colour to Charlotte's, and I'm going to build up the colour to make it really stand out. So, with short feathery strokes, from inwards to out, just going along the natural brow line. Now I'm going to be taking my disposable mascara wand just to make sure that all the hairs are brushed nicely in the brows. And because this is a real 20s look we're going for today with a proper arched brow, I'm going to be using a darker pencil. This is also by NARS, it's called Ipanema. Slightly darker colour, brown, and I'm going to be highlighting the arch. This is a good trick when you're doing brows, is to have one colour similar to your brow colour and then make the arch slightly darker. Just gives a bit of drama to the brows. For the mascara, I'm going to be using this MAC mascara. It's called Extended Play Lash in Endless Black. I'm just going to be applying at least three to four coats of mascara because I do want this to be quite a dramatic look. What I like to do as well is get on top of the lash and pull it through. So we're going on to the bottom lashes now. This mascara is really good for the bottom lashes, especially because it's a really small brush. Right, so I'm now going to be going on the eyes and I'm using this really beautiful cream shadow by Bobbi Brown. It's called Burnish. Cream shadows are really great because you can, you can put them on with your fingers so they're easy and they're also much less likely to crease. So I'm just putting this over the lid, up to the socket line concentrating most of the colour at the lashes. Okay, so for the liner, I'm going to be using this really cool eyeliner by MAC called Costa Riche. Hardly got any of it left, but it's my favourite liner. So what I'm going to do is line the whole of the eye and then smudge it out, and then we're going to go over that with black. Right, so one of the best ways to blend is actually using trusty, simple cotton buds, and that's what we're going to use today. So you just take the edge and you just blend, 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 so it just looks a bit softer all around the eye. This is why it doesn't matter if you make any mistakes because you can just take it away with the cotton bud. Okay, so to complete the eyes, I'm going to be using this amazing liquid liner in black by Clarins. You have to be really careful with this liner because it's quite an intense black. I'm going to lift the brow just to really get in the lash line and just short feathery strokes as usual. So if you want to add a bit of extra drama to your look, I love these lashes, they're called Lady in Black. They're really, really cool. They're corner lashes with little black diamantes in them. So I'm just using my cotton bud to put on the glue. I'm just going to place them on the corner of the eyes, just like that, really easy. So next I'm going to be doing the lips. Because this is a really strong lip look, I'm actually going to be using the concealer that I used before, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage. And just pat the colour 
around the lips like this, just because I want it to be perfect. So I'm going to start with the liner next. This is a liner by MAC, it's called Cherry. What I like to do is put my finger here, so I kind of open up the lip line a bit, and just so I can get a really perfect shape. So I'm going to be filling in the lips now. I'm using this really amazing colour called MAC Red. It's in my Makeup Artist palette, but you can buy this separately from MAC. Just using a slightly bigger lip brush just to get a really good coverage. So you really want to push the colour into the lips as much as possible because we want this look to be long lasting. So now we're onto the cheeks and I'm going to be using Harmony by MAC with my blusher brush from Bobbi Brown. So I'm just applying this under the bone of the cheekbones in circular motions, fanning out the colour towards the centre of the face, but concentrating most of the colour at the outer edge of the cheekbone. Okay, so to set the makeup, I'm going to be using Prep and Prime Translucent Powder by MAC. So I'm going to apply it along the forehead, under the eyes, and around the nose. What's great about using a translucent powder is that it's really light and it doesn't sit in the, in the skin or on any lines. Right guys, so here we have it, the finished look for today. If you guys love this video, then please give me a big thumbs up. And if you have any particular look you'd like me to do next week, then please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to Video Jug Beauty, and I'll see you guys next week with more bridal looks. Bye!